this is Miss Ruth, and I'm making a skeleton puzzle. This is my control chart, so this is what I'm using to help me solve the puzzle. And I'll show you my workspace so that you can see how to set this up for yourself at home. Okay, this is my workspace. I have cut out most of the pieces of my puzzle, and I've just kind of mixed it up here in front of me. I have my brad fasteners in a dish and I just have one last piece to cut. This is the skull or the head of my skeleton. So I just wanted to show you how I cut right on the dotted line. And remember, I'm going to use this hand to turn the paper so that my scissors don't have to turn. And there's my final piece. Okay, so when I'm assembling my puzzle, I can use this control card to look at the different pieces and see where they go. I think I'm going to start with the feet, just like the song that we sang. The foot bones connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bones connected to the shin bone. The shin bones connected to the knee bone. That song kind of gives me a clue on how to solve this. So if I start with my feet, mm -hmm. looks like those are the heels. That lets me know that it's the right way. All right, the foot bones connected to the ankle bone, and now the leg bone. And the leg bones connected to the knee bone. Oh, here we go. Here's my thigh bone and my hip bones. Okay, now that looks that looks like it's not right. I'm missing some pieces. So I want to get the rib bone, the backbone, and the rib cage. And let's see. Okay. I'm going to zoom out so you can see there. I think my skeleton is ready to fasten. So these are brad fasteners. We're going to stick it through the paper and then once it's on the other side of the paper then we can open it and it will hold our paper in place. So I might as well start at the bottom. Through my foot and through the shin bone. Now on the back, I want to pull them apart. That's one way that you can do it. If you don't like the way that looks, sticking out, then you can bend them both to the same side. And that works too. Not quite as well with this paper. So I think I am gonna keep mine this way. All right. Look at that, my skeleton's ready to dance. And I can just keep doing that the whole way up. So there is a place.
point at the tip of this. And that needs to go through the paper. So if you're having trouble getting it through, take a look and make sure that you're using the sharp pointed end. All right, knee is attached. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this and then we'll see what it looks like at the end. Okay, I finished and my skeleton is complete. I can really make it dance now if I want to do the skeleton dance song with it. You could also go through and try to figure out what are the real names of these bones? The shin bone, the thigh bone, do they have other names? I know that I've heard instead of backbone, vertebrates, because we're vertebrates. We have a skeleton inside of us and so do all other animals known as vertebrates fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. So I hope that you have fun making your skeleton and that you can use it to explore a little bit about what does it mean to have a skeleton and what are the names of some of these bones. All right guys, see you next time. Bye.